Let's keep it up. Okay, so um, now, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at a problem like this. Kind of similar to the one that we had, but it's also written a little bit differently, right? But all I want you guys to really understand with this is this is saying this fraction divided by that fraction, right? It's really just saying x squared divided by x squared minus y squared divided by 4x divided by y minus x. Isn't that the same thing? Yes? Isn't this big fraction bar mean division? Yes. So if you have a problem that's written like this, you can treat it as a dividing a fraction. And then what do we know about division? When I have two fractions to divide, we need to multiply by the reciprocal. So now in this problem I have x squared divided by x squared minus y squared. And remember we're always flipping the divisor times y minus x divided by 4x. Okay? So now ladies and gentlemen we need to go back and see how we can um, simplify this. So what I have here is x squared, I could write this as x times x, but I don't think you guys need that. x squared minus y squared is a difference of two squares, which is x minus y times x plus y times y minus x divided by 4x. So now let's go ahead and look at this and see what can we cancel, what can we divide out to 1? All right. Well, we obviously know x squared can be divided by x, right? We can lose an x. Yes, so now this becomes x to the first power, and the x's divide out to 1, right? Because this is really x times x, right? x squared is x times x, so the 1 x's divide out. Um, I, I'm not going to accept this if you're not going to be going through this, okay? So please put that down away. So, because you have an opportunity for 2. Um, now the next thing is, can I, div can I divide y minus x with one of these terms for it to get to 1? Can I? Right? These are not exactly the same. However, what about, ladies and gentlemen, if I factor out a negative 1? If I have y minus x, and now what I do, Ronnie, because you're really going to want to make sure you guys understand this and pay attention to this. If I have y minus x, if I factor out a negative y or negative 1, it now turns to this. If I rewrite this as x minus y, is it now like one of those factors down there? Yeah. Yes. So what I'm going to do, ladies and gentlemen, is I'm going to factor out a negative 1. That becomes a negative. That becomes a positive. Now, that is exactly the same as that term. So they now cancel, or they now so divide up to 1. Do you have to show that side process? Huh? Do you have to show that side No, process? that's just for me to explain to you guys where it came from. So now, instead of having an x, we have x times negative 1. So my final answer is going to be a negative x divided by 4 times x plus y. And that would be your final simplified version. So just to go back and review, if you have a fraction, divide by another fraction. Rewrite it as your division. Rewrite it by flipping and rewrite as a multiplication. Try to cancel off, try to divide out what you can. If you can't divide out, always look into factoring out a negative 1 to simplify it even further, okay? Okay, so that's it for me teaching. Now what I'm